Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you're enjoying the What I Eat in a Day series. It's just really easy and quick to film. I take pictures of my food anyway, so why the heck not? So what you're seeing here is a wine store that I was super impressed by. I actually didn't even buy anything in the store. I just walked in and kind of window shopped a little bit and I was really impressed by their variety. I mean, wow, just look at all the rosé that they have. And one area that I really, really want to learn about when it comes to food and cuisine is definitely wine. I took a course on it years and years and years ago. And of course, the only thing I really remember is some of the Italian wines of Valpolicella. I remember Qualitatsfein from Germany, ice wine, how they have to go out in the middle of the night in the freezing cold, measure the temperature every few hours. It's really painstaking, laborious process. That's why it's so expensive. The bottles are so small. I don't know. I just feel like a wine course, you could go on a year and you still will not know everything you need to know about it. I just find it really interesting. So I thought this store was really interesting and unique, and I love the smell of it. I love the smell of walking into a wine store. I know. Is that weird? I don't know. All right. So we got to get our day started with some caffeine. Am I right? So here we have a sidecar. It's a half shot of espresso and half of a cappuccino. Now the espresso that they used, it was like a really cherry flavor, strong cherry, syrupy, rich kind of bitter flavor. And then you have the foamy, smooth creaminess of the cappuccino. So the two are complete opposites, which kind of complements each other. So call it a sidecar. Um, I don't, I'm sure some like local places can make it. It just, I thought it was cool and it's kind of a weekend treat, definitely not an everyday thing, but how cool is that? This is probably my favorite kind of lunch when you just buy a bunch of salads and sandwiches and everybody can share. I love cucumber and tomato salad. I could eat that every single day. Some olives, a little bit of red onion. Oh, so delicious. Oh my gosh. And then this was, I'm not even kidding you guys. It was from some random deli in New Jersey. The best chicken salad sandwich that I have ever had. It was fresh. You could tell it was made to order. It wasn't sitting there for a year and then they're serving it to the customers. The bread was delicious. It was just, oh my God, it was so good. Sometimes the simplest things are the best. Keep your food simple and fresh. So fast forward to hours and hours later, no, this is not right after I ate the damn sandwich and all the salad. I promise you that. It's just the way the video is edited. The skills of the person that is editing the video makes it look like it's right after the sandwich. So this is a works pizza. It's personal size. I got mushrooms, peppers, pepperoni. We didn't eat breakfast today. So you know what? Why not go all out with dinner? I ate the whole thing. Yes. Yes, I did. And it was delicious. This is the most refreshing drink ever. If you guys haven't tried this, get your butt over to Dunkin' Donuts. It's the blackberry iced tea with no sugar, strawberries, and fresh lemon. It's so freaking good. And I think the base is probably black tea, so you get a little bit of energy. You know, and you don't feel like coffee, you need something refreshing. I crave this, like when I'm really, really thirsty and I need something sweet, this is it. This is Daily Fave. Do you guys like seeing that? Like favorites, things that I've been sent to review that I'm gonna put up on my blog that I'm really enjoying. It's a pillow room and linen spray. I love essential oils. It's lavender and chamomile. It's a really small company. I think I found it originally on Amazon, I wanna say. I don't know, maybe you guys think that's boring. Maybe you wanna see the random things that I get to review. I think it's fun. I like seeing other people's unboxings and stuff like that. So to me, it's fun, but to you, maybe not so much. Maybe you're not into it, let me know.